Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the German tier 10 medium tank, the E50 meme, or sorry, the E50M. Yeah, the E50M is a tier 10 medium tank that I have always loved. I just enjoy this tank so, so much. And that's because it's got a decent amount of armor. It's got an absolutely brilliant gun. It's got good mobility and it's got good capacity to have some memes. So it's got good ramming capacity. And it can be an absolute beauty to play. The one thing it lacks is DPM. Now, it used to have a bad turret and the turret used to get just caved in all of the time. But it did get buffed and it's now got like 235 millimeters meters of turret armor which is still not great for tier 10 and tier 10 guns can still pen especially when firing premium but means it's not swiss cheese to everything and it can bounce a bit more when you're on ridge lines using gun depression all that good stuff and that is definitely quite nice so there's two different replays coming up this first replay is the e50 meme and the second replay is the e50m and you're going, E50 meme? E50M? What, what are you on about? Well, E50 meme, because this setup is not the best setup that you could have on the tank. It's just built to be meme -y. And that's for when, like you're seeing here, we've got a three-man platoon. We're all E50Ms. We're just going to try and have a laugh. Push aggressively into a position. Get some rams off. And just, you know, meme it up. And we have had some hilarious times playing this tank incredibly aggressive in the setup that we've got and had some you know just hilarious outcomes and i wish i'd actually saved some of the clips of stuff that's happened because yeah it, it has been pretty funny and it would have been good for you guys to see it but i'm an idiot and i didn't save it so what crew do i run on the e50m well i run born leader rapid reload sixth sense situational awareness track mechanic steady aim run and gun off-road driving and controlled impact now, this is actually my general E50M crew, and my meme crew did have one difference, and that was run and gun off for clutch braking, so it had crazy turn-in ability. But yeah, I run that crew all the time because controlled impact, because you do have the meme ability, you can go 60 kilometers an hour in your pretty heavy medium tank, you can get some pretty meme rams. So being able to reduce the amount of damage you take from ramming it's fantastic and that's why I run it. It's a bit of a meme, obviously you could just drop that and run snapshot or something like that, but I don't feel like you need snapshot because this gun is sexy. It is an unbelievably good gun, okay? And really, all you need is the steady aim to make yourself 10% more accurate and run and gun to make you better on the move. Genuinely. And then obviously off-road driving helps you so that you can get to your top speed a lot easier. So, we're gonna first go through the meme setup for this game that you're seeing right here and the meme setup is I don't run a rammer I don't run optics and I don't run vents what do I run well I run the traction system I run the powertrain and I run the spall liner spall liner obviously reduces damage on impact of stuff so it really helps you with the ramming damage and it really helps you not take as much ramming damage when you ram people and obviously being able to have powertrain and traction system means you get up to 69 kilometers an hour that with the off-road driving and stuff like that means that you do get, you do get up to that speed and you can get some absolutely meme rams and that's the setup you're seeing in this game and it means that you sacrifice pretty much your dpm and your view range you completely sacrifice all of that in terms of gun handling well you don't really sacrifice that much because like i say this gun is absolutely dirtily fun dirtily fun and great it's a great great gun it didn't really actually need that much love uh, it, it really doesn't you could run fuel as well like rossi and lee are to be able to get over 69 kilometers an hour but we love the giggity and apart from that i like having food to be able to get my view range higher if i need it because i you know i like the f i have sacrificed right I've sacrificed the DPM, I've sacrificed my view range. I've sacrificed a lot to have that meme capacity, but I do like to still have the ability to do something. Well, you can still do stuff. But the ability to think, right, okay, I need to try and spot this thing. Whatever it is that's looking at me, it's camoed up. I need to be able to spot it. So I just want to boost my view range with the food boost to make it better. Or just make my reload slightly better in certain situations, right? So I just run food. But like I say, for the, meme, for the memes, you could run fuel just as easily. So in this game, we tried to meme, we got to H2 and we got bogged down. We got severely bogged down 
and it turned into a it turned into a not a very nice firefight. And I ended up losing all my hit points, got my armor rack damaged twice, which damaged my capacity to be able to do anything, especially with this bad reload that we've got because of the way we've set up. It's a nine second reload for 400 or 390 alpha at tier 10. That is shocking. Absolutely shocking. And it, it it's the difference between having all of the right equipment like vents and rammer and stuff like that to have your best DPM because in the next replay you're going to see it's like 7.3 second reload. It's a big difference between 7.3 and 9 seconds. And as you're going to see in this game, while we are going to have a great game, if we'd just been able to reload that probably 2 seconds faster than we are now, we would have had a little bit more damage and this game probably would have ended a little bit quicker and possibly saved one two friends as well. So... Yeah, it hasn't gone well. We haven't been able to meme. We've had to take this game a little bit more seriously. We've managed 4k damage and 1100 assistance. And we're on 66 hit points. It's, it's not looking good. This CS59 pops up and it's like, well, I, I want to get rid of that guy because he's got a great gun. He's got great DP. I mean, I mean, he fires quicker than I do when I'm fully pimped out. Yeah, go figure. And that means that he, he will just wreck us if we got into a firefight with him. And um, if I bounced and he missed, he was always going to fire before I would. But I wanted to get rid of him. But, you know, the cap. Cap starts going. And the cap is the... Well, look at it. There's this heavy tank that's going towards it. There's artillery. There's no way the other two are going to go back and deal with it. We've got to go help our type. Go defend this cap. And stop them from winning the game just by sitting in a circle. And we don't want that. That would be a sad end, to the, sad end to the game. So because I've got low hit points, I don't know what's in the cap. I don't know how healthy it is. I don't want to attack this cap head on by just driving in the open. That would be silly. I get spotted. I die, right? End of game for me. Don't want that. So I've taken the extreme flank. We've gone over here and we're trying to spot the cap by using our view range. Now, obviously, to be honest, we would have spotted that cap. And it was a back chat that sat in the cap. It's too sharp. Like I say, if we'd just driven up over in the open, that guy probably would have finished us off. Which is why we took this long diversion down the K line and used these rocks as cover. Now, that's where if I'd actually had a good setup on my equipment, I probably would have spotted that bat chat because my view range went well within the cap circle there. But because I had a lot less, because obviously I've not got it boosted with vents or with optics. I think I was pushing like 460 meters view range, something like that, or 450. You know, so without vents or optics boosting it, I couldn't spot the bat chap because of his camo. Now, like I say, if I had a better setup there and I had the optics and the vents, I would have spotted him outright. I would, it just would have done. And, you know, I wouldn't have had to rely on my heavy tank driving in the open to spot him. And that's what I did. When I didn't spot the bat chap at first, I basically sat there and waited because I knew the heavy tank wouldn't and we had the time. So right here again is another thing of if I had better DPM, I would be able to help this FV 4005 a lot more. And I'm looking at this going, I'm sorry 4005, because of my setup you are dying here. Like, he probably would have died anyway, but I, I would have been able to put the damage out a lot quicker. But it is me, let's say, if you have this setup and you get those sort of, those good situations. It's best for platoons, by the way. Best for platoons of 350Ms, because it can just be so funny. Just to see the sheer panic of of other players as you come rushing towards them. 350 M's full kitted out. I've rammed a 50 B for <laughs> nearly a thousand coming downhill before. It was really funny. Obviously I took a lot of damage because the 50 B is not a good tank to ram. But because of having the spore liner and control impact, it was like I took 400 damage and did nearly a thousand of them. You know, it was crazy. Like I say, I wish I'd saved the clips and put so I could just show you the stupidity that this thing can do like that. And this setup can be memes. And you're seeing that you can still be effective with the terrible setup. And you can still sort of help a game out as much as possible. But you're going to see the night, night and day difference between having this setup and having the actual proper realistic setup of having the E50. Um, you know, properly set up to be competitive. But that wasn't the goal. And unfortunately, it didn't work in this replay for having a meme factor. But... We're at 5.7k damage. 1100 assistance. We know where the last TD was. It was over here at like a5 and we want to see we want to see if we can spot him it was the death star we knew it was a death star and we're just hoping that we light him up before he lights us up and we actually spot each other at the same time but fortunately enough because the gun's just super sexy we don't really have to aim and the shot goes straight in to shut that guy down we're finished with the victory five kills 6k damage or 6006 nearly 1200 assistance ace tanker spark metal high caliber 
1738 base XP. Really nice ace tanker game for the E50M. I'll say, if it, it's a hilarious tank, but I love it. Like I said, this setup is, is definitely not one that you would normally run because the, the setup you normally run and to have really nice games as well and just make the tank all round nice to play, you're gonna see in this game. And that is because on the equipment that I run for this tank for this game, I run Rammer, Vents and Optics. The Rammer, obviously, you want to make your DPM better by 10%. That's always beautiful. Optics, because view range, view range, view range, lovely to get up there. And Vents for just the all-round performance of the tank. Now, obviously, you, are, I mean, you might be going, well, what about Vert Stabs, right, to have 20% better accuracy? Like I say, this get replay and the other replay, you're going to see the tank without Vert Stabs, and you'll see just how beautiful the gun is no matter what anyway. So, yeah, you don't, you don't need it. Quite frankly, as you see a snapper shot into the Type 4 Heavy. Yeah, you don't need Vert Stabs. The gun's already sexy enough. You just make it better with the crew skills. Bam, you're fine. And as you see, we actually have a 6.9 second reload with food boost. 6.9 seconds as opposed to the 8.5 with the food boost that we had in the last game. Night and day difference. <laughs> you just have such better DPM. Um, to be honest, it's not even that good a DPM. Because most of the tier 10 mediums with the 390 to 400 are firing for a lot quicker than that. But yeah, it, it is what it is. We... I just love the E50M. It's one of those tanks because I can be I can be solidly aggressive with it. The gun is just super super good. The penetration on the gun is fantastic. You've got great shell velocity with this APCR. You've got 270 pen on that APCR, which is like I say, absolutely delightful. You've got 330, I think it is, or 340 heat pen as well, which is just beautiful for dealing stuff with dealing with stuff like that type five or type four, whatever whichever one it was that you saw me shooting at. Great shot velocity, like I say, on the APCR. This gun is wonderful. It's a great platform. You get it on the Leopard 1 as well, and it's fantastic on there. But I prefer the armor over the DPM for the 50M for me over the Leopard because I like the armor. I just like the armor. I like the ability to be that little bit more aggressive and just do stupid things at times. Now, you could actually still drop vents if you really wanted to and run a traction system to go at 66 kilometers an hour because with off-road driving you would still probably get somewhere close to that and yeah something you could do you could, the different variations of running tanks right it's how you want to have fun with this game because like like with the last meme setup, it doesn't always work, but when it does, you can have a right laugh. And it depends whether you want to take the game seriously and have a really competitive build like this, or just have the absolute memer memery, run around in the platoons and just laugh at people and have meme -y, meme -y times, right? It's up to you. It depends on how you want to have fun. So in this replay, we're on Kaunas. We've done a normal play for me, which is go to D6, push aggressively, get spots out, get shots out. And in nearly three minutes, we're at 3k damage and 2.5k assistance, which is a really, really nice game. I mean, to be honest, if we ended the game at this, I would be saying, well, it wasn't really a good game, but it was a decent game, right? We've had a decent game. And that's if we ended right now. So we're going to try and push it more, see if we can get a better result out of this. So I'm taking a safe route here. I'm trying to use the rocks and use this little path here to get round because I want to stay safe from anything. They've, they've got three TDs. I want to stay safe from any TDs that might be sitting at C1 or D1 or, you know, just in those bushes, right? Because I don't want to get tagged. If I go straight across the E line, there's a possibility I get spotted and I get smacked by one. So this is where I'm being careful. Look, the, the moment I poke round, I get spotted. And it's like, well, there's got to be something in that bush. T62A gets spotted. And it's like, I shot at the T62A, did damage. And the T62A didn't lose health. Hmm. Okay. And at this point, obviously, I'm like, <laughs> lol, there's something in that bush that just took the hit for the T62A. I don't know what it is. It's a stealthy TD, no, no doubt. But it took the hit for that T62A. So it's one of those moments of going, hmm. So there's something still in that bush, right? I'm going to keep that in mind. But for now, we've got an M60 in front of us. And I'm quite confident of facing this M60. Obviously, the M60 has great pen. And if he aims it properly, he's going to go straight through my turret cheeks. But fortunately enough, he ricochets. Like I say, having that extra armor on the turret means that you can just ricochet the odd little shot if you keep moving. And now we get another shot into that guy's tracks, which means he blows his repair kit and he backs off. And it's like, well, 
yeah, okay, we've, we've basically won that fight. The M60 obviously has a great gun. Again, it has another tank that has fantastic gun, great mobility. But the turret armor is, on it is pretty trash. And as you saw, we shot it straight through the turret face. But now we're going to go around that corner again. And like I say, I'm just going to see if that's easy to still in that bush. And in fact, we get spotted the moment we go around the corner. So I'll pop a blind shot. And it's always satisfying when that happens, right? I knew there was something in the bushes earlier on, right? From shooting that T62A. And I thought, the moment I went around that corner and got spotted, I knew it was still there. So I just popped a blind shot at the bushes. And we managed to get a nice shot into blind shot into that poor ISU 152. And we shot him down. Unfortunately, we took a massive hit from artillery. Well, I say massive hit. Okay. We took a hit from artillery. We lost 400 health. That's not massive on by any means in terms of artillery hits. And now I'm going to go chasing after what is in this town. And I'm so healthy, right, that I'm just going to act a bit brash. I'm just going to charge in. We don't care. The M60. We RBRT. Miss. Because, unfortunately, there's a building in the way. But we reloaded quick enough that hopefully when he drives out in front of us, we free aim the shot straight in. Like I say, this gun is a thing of beauty. You don't really have to aim all that much and it will hit its target most of the time. Now we've got the 60TP and we're going to do something that the E50M is pretty decent at doing. Fortunately enough, we missed, get missed by the artillery. But that is side scraping. We're going to side scrape out this 60TP, act a bit like a heavy tank and try and see if we can ricochet something off our armour like we did with the ICU 152 a couple of minutes ago. Now, I've been praising the gun, but unfortunately, that shot flies underneath that 60TP. But like, he's got to stop and aim. I'm pretty much aimed in, and we get to shut that guy down, which is good enough. And now there's just the C100, and he's being swarmed by the light tank, the heavy in front of me, and me. And it's like, well, I'm an E50M, right? I'm just going to go ram this E100, because lol. So we bounce off his side, do 181 damage, only actually take 150 ourselves, but he shoots us, and it's something I didn't realise at the time. He shot us and did HE damage. He's actually firing HE. Yeah. Wrong gun to fire HE from. Yep, that's what it is. But at first I thought, oh no, that wasn't really worth it. I hit him for like 100 odd ramming damage and I took like 350 it's actually more likely I, I took 150 ramming damage and then the moment the split second after he actually shot me with HE for like 100 or 150 something like that that was me as a medium tank ramming a super heavy tank yeah that controlled impact helps with that like I said if you add a spore liner into the mix as well you can reduce your damage that you take quite significantly and you see, you see there, me ramming is super heavy. I was only doing like 50 kilometers an hour, but I did like 100 and some damage to him, which is decent. Blue took his tracks off and got assistance for it. Only a little bit, but it is what it is. We get a nice shot on the move into that artillery. I look at the other artillery and I'm thinking, am I going to get the shot into that guy? No, the light tank does it. There's only one tank left on the enemy team. And it's a 268 version 5 versus an AT-15. I'm looking at it going, that poor AT-15, he is so dead. There is no way he's surviving against that. 268 version 5 is just going to get obliterated by him and I'm like I'm going to come and save you Mr. AT-15 he gets hit by artillery the 268 version 5 we get a nice shot RBRT on the move because I say the gun's beautiful it will just hit most of the time anyway I think the AT-15 is probably going to kill him before I get there to ram him so I just decide you know what all right I'm just going to shoot him and we get to finish him off and finish the game with the victory six kills 7.5k damage 2.7k assistance that's like 10k combined. Ace tanker, high caliber, the top gun, 1900 base XP. A really nice game for the E50M. And it's you see you saw the difference in terms of the DPM and the V range of the E50M between this setup and the meme setup. I say you can have quite a few memes with it. It is a fun tank. So as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. A great success!